Hey guys, welcome to Brian's Man Cave. So today I'm going to be doing a video about a cartoon video game. Um, I've been thinking about this, maybe even starting a new segment. Uh, I mean, there's lots of them out there. There's lots of uh, video games that were based on cartoons. I mean, that's a natural progression. We watch cartoons when we were kids. We play video games when we were kids. We eat the cereal when we were kids. I mean, there's lots of things we would have done when we were kids. So, I mean, they make a toy, they make a cartoon, they make a video game. It's just the natural order of things. And so this one, um, it's a cartoon, well, toy line and everything else. Uh, He-Man, Masters of the, uh, Masters of, uh, well, it's Masters of the Universe, actually. Uh, the power of He-Man, to be exact. Um, yeah, so He-Man, I mean, that was one of those cartoons I, I, I remember... Uh, it was on all the time in the 80s. My friend watched it all the time. He had all the toys. I wasn't that crazy about it. Um, I don't know why. I mean, I had my selection of cartoons that I liked, I think. Uh, you know, I, I was more into, you know, the Transformers, the G.I. Joe. Um, you know, there was a lot of different cartoons that, that I watched that he watched. But he liked the, he liked He-Man. And he had a ton of the figures. He had a ton of the action figures. I remember going over to his house all the time and we'd play, be playing with toys and stuff. And uh, he had like the castle. He had, I think he had both castles. He had Skeletor's castle. He pretty much had all the figures. So I would play with the figures anyways, even though I wasn't a huge He-Man fan. I did catch the odd uh, TV show every once in a while. And I do remember going to see the movie, of course, with him. Uh, you know, I think it was just called Masters of the Universe with Dolph Lundgren in the 80s as well, which, I mean, it's not a bad movie. I, I didn't hate it. I kind of liked it when I was a kid. You know, it had everything in there that you'd like. I'm sure if I watched it today, I'd kind of be like, oh my gosh. But uh, um, it's actually not, you know, it's not too bad. It's, it's, it's fun. It's entertaining. So this is going to be on the Intellivision He-Man game, which I recently picked up with a whole bunch of other games. And uh, I've never played this before. Um, it's one that was recommended to me a few times from people watching my show or talking on Facebook and stuff, you know, mentioning the He-Man game for the Intellivision. There's also one for the Atari. Again, I've never played it. I don't own it. So this one I just happened to pick up. And uh, unfortunately, there was no manual. So I'm just going to jump straight into this like I do with a bunch of my other videos where it's my first time playing. Uh, because I just find it fun. I mean, sure, I can go online, I could look it all up and everything else, but I just find this to be fun, where I can actually just throw the game in and just start playing. It's how we always did it in the past. And so, you know, I mean, there's nothing wrong with that. And, you know, afterwards, if I want to, I can actually learn more about it and then do another video again, you know, just on how to actually play it. So let's just dive right into playing the, the power of He-Man Masters of the Universe on the Intellivision. Okay, so we got Mattel Electronics presents Masters of the Universe, The Power of He-Man. 1983. Now I do recognize that soundtrack. It's actually been quite a long time since I've actually watched a, uh, a He-Man episode. I mean, it, it it really wasn't my thing. I, I, I didn't mind it. Uh, my friend played a lot with the toys, but I didn't. So let's see what's going on here. So there's a skill set, one to four. I'm obviously going to do one. And there is a practice mode. Novice, challenger, and master. Now I wonder what the difference between practice and novice is. So let's start with novice, just to see where this goes. Guess that's he man jumping into his uh Okay. So right off the bat, it kind of uh okay, so I I can drop drop things to the bottom. So this is reminding me of a bunch of different games. I mean Defender, uh Empire Strikes Back on the Atari. Actually on a few different systems having the ability to drop whoa drop the bombs from the you know the bottom or to the bottom I should say and then shoot across 
I have no idea what those things are, but they look pretty funky. And they turn red. Not doing too well here. It's actually not a bad shoot 'em up type of game. Space shooter style. Horizontal scrolling. Although I don't know what that dude is there in the bottom. Am I supposed to shoot him? I wonder if Skeletor's in this game. Whoa! Sound effects are cool. I really like the sound effects. And the graphics are, are pretty good too. Fireballs. Skeletor caught. Hmm. Alright then. Game over. Let's try that again. I wonder if that is Skeletor at the bottom there. Down there. I'm supposed to like... Whoa. This is the fun part about playing video games for the very first time. You just dive right into it. And then you pretend you know what you're doing. So I'm noticing that if I push the uh, 2 button and the 5 button, well, 2 button and the 5 button, both do the same thing. Uh, oh, also the bottom fire buttons from the Intellivision controller also shoot the, uh, that bomb thing. I think I'm supposed to hit Skeletor down there. I think that's what I'm doing. Why is there multiple Skeletors? Shouldn't there only be one Skeletor? This is novice, so, uh, I mean... <laughs> oh, I think I got him. I think, I, I think he went squish. seeing any indication of whether you can run out of bullets or anything like that. It looks like I pretty much have endless bullets. Not sure what all these little things are down there. Fireballs. So I guess that's the stuff in the sky. And I caught uh, a bunch of Skeletors. Huh. So let's see what happens when I uh, change it to practice. What's the difference? Just not as many fireballs in the sky. Uh, one shot kills them. Well, that was cool. It's kind of like... Oh, I see. The bomb hits the ground and it ricochets. I get it. <laughs> and that's how you take down the Skeletor. Kind of crappy, though. All you're doing is dropping a bomb. So practice is really just, I mean, two of those fireball things that die in one shot. Alright. Okay, let's try this on the um, advanced setting now. Or at least the master setting it was. There we go. I don't know why, but he kind of reminds me of the Metroid character... Uh, Shamus or Sheamus? I got that right. Okay, so it's taking a lot more shots to destroy these fireballs. Find that that's your, you know, that's where you got to concentrate your efforts on is to, to navigate around these things. I guess you got to destroy them too. Whoa. doesn't take much effort to kill the Skeletor guy. If that is Skeletor, I believe it is. And you literally just gotta drop the thing and he dies. Most of your concentration is on these 
freaking fireballs. Missed him there. Oh, I think that's life. So the heart is life. I just notice that now. <laughs> Been watching the, the above screen, not really paying attention. I don't know what the 13 is. The 34. Maybe that's, uh. I don't know. Oh. And that's my score. Well, there you have it. I mean, it was it, it was fun. I mean, the game itself was a little bit different than what I was expecting. I didn't think it was going to be kind of like that straight up uh, spaceship shooter style. Um, I expected there to be a little bit more of, you know, things happening on the ground. But, uh, you know, maybe a sword fight here or there. Uh, but ult ultimately, it's actually not a bad game. Uh, I'm, again, I'm not too familiar with all the characters in He-Man. I didn't really watch the show, but I do know who he man and Skeletor are, and those seem to be the only characters in this game. Uh, it's kind of a shame, though, because the uh, I know the He-Man universe, there's a ton of villains, there's a ton of, you know, there's She-Ra, which is a good person, you know, there's all these different characters that they could have included in the game. It just seems kind of like they took the Defender uh, video game, or like I said, Empire Strikes Back is similar. Uh, Chopper Command. There's a bunch of games that are very similar to this, with the with the ship scrolling back and forth and then shooting up and down, uh, or down and, and across. And um, I, I just felt that you know I think they could have did a little bit better, uh, creating a, a more interesting game. The Intellivision was always good at that. Always good at coming up with these these interesting concepts like Dungeons and Dragons, the one I've played a few times on my channel. One of my favorite games on the Intellivision, you know. Just having that, you know, the, the map screen and a little bit more going on. I expected a little bit more, but, you know, it was not a bad game. I didn't mind it. Uh, I definitely see why people recommend it. If you're into those style of games, into the shooter styles, the spaceship styles, um, you know, have at it. It's actually, it could be pretty fun and it could be quite addictive. Um, I don't know. I, I think I might look a little bit more into it to, to try and understand what, what was more focusing on the, uh, you know, the bottom screen there, what was going on, and see if there's something I'm missing, because I don't have the overlays either. I'm assuming the game had overlays, but I don't have them. So I don't know if there's, like, something else on the keypad I'm missing that it can do. Uh, if you know more about this game, you know, throw it all in the comments. Like, if you say I missed something, or I could have done this, or I should have done that, or... If there was just something I missed, let me know in the comments below. I always like to talk to the people who throw st stuff in the chat. Anyways, hope you liked the video. Let me know what you think of He-Man for the Intellivision. And um, maybe I'm going to do some more games based on cartoons. I know there's a bunch out there. Um, I definitely have, like, Inspector Gadget on the uh, Super Nintendo, so that might be kind of fun. And a few others. I mean, I've already done Taz, so I don't know if I'll do that one. Anyways, hope you liked the video. Hope you subscribe to my channel. Talk to you later.